Good morning, good morning everybody, good morning peak freaks. Let's do this today, I'm gonna be lifting today. I hope you enjoyed the last week session, Wednesday. Wednesday we are lifting, but I'm gonna add some elements of cardio today. It's gonna be a full 60 minutes of a great workout, so let's get ready. What do you need for today? <clears throat> a stability ball, however, if you do not have stability ball, maybe you have a bench, or maybe you can simply do this on the floor. The same exercises can be done without equipment, but what you need is a pair of dumbbells as well. Good morning, Laureen is with me, yes. <clears throat> so a pair of dumbbells, full 60 minutes, let's do this. We're gonna start with a warm up with the bands, of course, I did already my stretching, I did my foam rolling, I, I did my stretch chop, so we've done this today, this should be out of the picture. Johanna, hello, peak freak in the house. Yes, so <clears throat> I have a band right here next to me. This, this band is installed on a really rock with dumbbells right here, but you can put those bands in between the door. Just let somebody know not to open them, okay? They hook in against the Inside the door, they have a stretch strap, like a black piece of fabric, and you can put it in. So those are awesome. You can take them anywhere. All right, we ready? Let's do this. We gotta warm up the shoulders, get our blood flowing. So elbow is tucked into the side. I'm starting with my other left arm, and I am going to the side. So you're gonna do this motion eight, ten times, even a little bit less. You can go, keep on going. Other social media. I wanted to make sure that everything is going smoothly. All right, keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Something is reconnecting. It's okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna change and do the other side. Ready? Right here. So again, make sure that the elbow is tucked in. You are doing the same motion: 90 degree angle, shoulders back, chest is out. We're gonna flip it, the same arm, now you're gonna be doing an opposite rotation, opening, like opening the door, right? So now, listen up guys. If you do not have this band, Right here. 90 degrees, good, and you can maybe do some stretching, active recovery here, but we're gonna do this for a few minutes and we're gonna go right with a full workup. So as you see me, I'm doing it on the both arms, first was motion this way, now motion is this way, right? So I'm turning my back on you, but you know already that you should be keeping that arm at 90 degrees opening, keeping that wrist straight, right? Just like this. Awesome, now let's get into a forward stand, 90 degrees, so that arm is this way. Now if you've done the sessions with us for lifting, you know that we always warm up our upper body with our bands. If you have not done it, this is your first time. Great, switch your arms. Now with the bands, when you're working with them, they are going to pull you. So you need to keep your body upright position, really engage your abs, and have a full control over it, okay? So again, elbow to the shoulder, straight line. You wanna create that 90 degree angle here. And breathing up, not holding the breath. Good, okay, turning around, now we're gonna do opposite, right? So we're gonna bring that elbow in line with the shoulder, and now try to bring the arm up. Now listen. Don't worry if you don't have that range of motion. Everybody has a different range of motion, none of us has the same. And some of us can go really high up and beyond that point here, but with the bend there is a resistance, right? So you might find this more difficult. Now, what kind of bend we should be using? A light bend, okay? Light bend. Go. Keep on going on the other side, guys. Keep on going on this side. Keep on going. 
let's do this i'm just gonna fix something here some videos didn't go through it's okay we're gonna try again we're gonna try again the life come on let's do this all right we're gonna give another shot all right you good you're done perfect you did it on both sides awesome we did forward we did backward pamela is in the house good morning now we're gonna pop forward let's do this single arm i am still using like but at this point you can really <coughs> change if you want and go into a little heavier one but we're just gonna warm up the shoulders pop those arms get them ready and i'm telling you you're gonna feel much better doing a good warm-up than jumping right into <coughs> Uh, lifting you should always really give yourself that 10 minutes to warm up never jumping into the session and already doing everything straight you want the blood flow you want to loosen up right not feeling stiff turn around turn around we're gonna pump that row oh we're gonna be doing chest presses and rows yes so we're gonna get that motion going Good. Other arm. And I already feel it, right? Few, it takes few reps by you going back to back. So those arms are gonna feel it immediately, which is awesome. Good, time now, right arm, right arm. Bicep curl. Now knees, as you see, my knees are slightly bent. I am always in that shoulder width apart stance. Getting that hand into my ear, my elbow is high. So it's not here, it's up here. So those are important things. And breathing out. Inhale and exhale. With the motion, with the movement, right? Beginning of the movement, inhale. End of the movement, exhale. It's not for work. It's for warming up, pumping the blood, right? Left arm, pump it. Keep that elbow high up. Because most people, the mistake is always dropping the elbow. Isolate that muscle. Time. Right on. Don't worry about the reps. This is all just a part of the warm up. If you can't think you want to stick to six to eight, that's fine. I'm just speaking to you. So I'm just going for a few and switching. I'm going to reset here, stand up. Because this position for us. For a long time, it's not good and not comfortable, really. So you want to reset yourself for a second and start with the other arm. Elbow should be close to you. Back is straight. I am parallel towards the ground. And because tricep is an extensor, you want to extend the arm, okay? Time, no, done now. We, we will take care of the lower body. So, we're gonna reach down towards the floor, loosen up those shoulders, tap the floor, come up and reach overhead. And again, deep breath in, loosen up, come up, open up your chest. And again, deep breath in, loose, 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 come up. And again, down. Each time you're gonna go, you're gonna realize that you're gonna go a little bit deeper, right? And again, deep breath in, and exhale, arms up. Deep breath in, and exhale, arm up. Now, we're gonna stay here, side to side. So I'm staying here, I'm rotating and following my other arm, the arm is up. So I'm touching my foot, but at the same time, I'm looking up. Now, for those of you who is not uncomfortable, you can't do that. Go side, stand up, side, and stand up, okay? Always away. Deep breath in, follow the arm. Go slow. I don't want you to go fast here. Okay, time. We're gonna step forward and do the quad stretch and a knee tuck. Look, knee tuck, quad stretch on the right, knee tuck on the left, quad stretch on the right, knee tuck on the left. Keep on going. And switch. Left leg, quad stretch. You can. Get that balance going. Hold on to something. Hold on to something. Keep that standing leg slightly bent. 
Bring that heel into the glute. Push yourself forward so you can actually feel the quad, guys. And bring that knee up. Yes, opposite and opposite. That's how we're going to do it. Bring that knee up and out towards the shoulder. Really pull it in. If you cannot do that, lay down on the floor and do alternating knee taps, tugging and bringing that leg in. That's another way, okay? We're going to touch the hamstrings right now. So anything that is a stack elevation, some kind of elevated space that you have, maybe a couch, maybe a chair, something stable, okay? So we're going to reach towards your toes and stand up straight. But a very important thing here, you want hips and shoulders to be square towards your foot. Not outside, just straight up. Toes are up. Flex your foot. Don't point the foot. Flex it. Reach for those toes and stand up straight. And again, reach and stand up straight. Good job. Good, one more. Nice, now other leg. And we are done, we can keep on going. And we're gonna start the whole round with lifting. Make sure you have water with you. Toes are up, toes towards you. You wanna feel that hamstring. Time. Good. Get those dumbbells going. Get the dumbbells going. We're going to go for a high rep. There is a reason for it. We'll be doing the high rep this week. Totally high rep. Well, the last week we started already. So, stability ball. If you do not have stability ball, do this on the floor. Do this on a bench. Stability ball is a great way to incorporate into your sessions. I'm sitting firmly right in the center of the ball. I'm going to grab my dumbbells and I'm going to roll and walk out. You ready? Let's do this. Walking out, head and shoulders on the ball, but hips are away right here. So my head is firmly on the ball. I'm going to bring the dumbbells slowly down and come right back up. We're hitting 20 to 25. Let's do this. Chest open. Squeeze your glutes. Glutes are high up. So that's the tabletop position. So you're acting like a bench here. So that's why it's harder than just going on a bench because your hips, your glutes have to hold you here. Almost there. 20 to 25. First round, don't drop those hips on me, and time, now you can drop those elbows here and then walk, you can bring them down and reverse yourself the same way, bend over, row guys, <clears throat> the same dumbbells or lighter, whatever you have, maybe you want to start light and then build yourself up, whatever that is. So bend over, we're leaning forward, 45 degree angle right here. You're gonna get those dumbbells straight up. Not on a weird angle, I've seen those people doing this one. Straight towards the gravity, let's do this. Pump it. Now here in this position, I'm engaging my glutes, my abs. I'm squeezing the back of my arm, my lats, which is my back. But I'm controlling the dumbbells, I'm not just dropping them. Everything has a control here. Breathing. Going for a high rep. Almost there. Squeeze a few more. Perfect time. So I'm going to be changing my weights as well throughout. So if you're starting lighter, it's fine. We're going to have plenty of work here. All right. We're going to do, I lay down on the floor already. You look. We're going to sit on that ball. And I'm going to teach you a bridge. You ready? We're going to walk out. Upper body on the ball. Leg 
we did with the chest press, but look, here is the thing. Ceiling, look forward. So you're dropping your hips. You're coming right back up, looking at the ceiling, looking forward. So the hips drop. Now, the bow should not be moving at all. I'm gonna step back a little bit so Facebook can see me better. You ready, guys? Shoulder blades, let's pump it. Down and up. So you're squeezing. Now you can do the same thing on the floor. Just bridging up, laying down with your upper body on the floor and getting those hips up. This one is awesome. On the ball. You don't have one. Get it today. Available everywhere. You want to have a ball that when you sit on it, your legs are at 90 degree angle. Not a small one, okay? You feel that in your glutes and your abs, everywhere. This whole section of the core is working. But we're going for a high rep. As you realize, lower body have no resistance other than my own body weight. I'm still giving my legs a little break after it's almost 16 mile hike. But I'm not stopping, I continue to work out. But if you guys wanna put the dumbbells here, go ahead. And also, it's a little moment of a break from chest press and the bent over roll. Time, that should feel awesome. Put that ball on the side. Now, I'm grabbing a jump rope. Some of you will be able to do that, some of you won't. So the option here right now is to do jumping jacks, regular jacks right here, full arms, full legs, overhead, or you're gonna hit this squat thrust, and you're gonna go for a speed, okay, squat thrust. Now, of course, modifications is a walk, squat thrust, you know this one. Let's get going in three, two, one. You guys are pumping your squat thrust, whatever that is, whatever you have. I'm gonna pump those jumps here. All right, light on your feet. Get that jump rope going with me if you can. We have people who are playing those sessions anywhere in the world. So, some people will be running on the beach maybe right now, doing a sprint instead of the jump rope. Some of them are having a whole year of a warm weather. So, if you're here somewhere in some beautiful spot right now, you want to do a sprint, let's do this. And time. This is just to get more of your blood flow. We are starting next one. Get that ball and we are going. We're doing the same thing, but different, different tempo here. And alternating arms. Go. Now, sitting on the ball, always be careful. This ball always like to run away from you. All right? Ready? Rolling out, safe, hip, hips up. Now look, one arm at a time. You see that? One arm is staying 90, the other one goes, then comes right back down, then the other one will go. You gotta wait for the other arm. Press it with me. Chin away from your chest. This is more challenging than the other one because it's uneven. You're working one arm at a time, you're creating instability. <sighs> Hips are up. So your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, working a little bit more here. Press it, press it. <sighs> we gotta go for that high number, right? <sighs> oh yeah. Pump it up, don't drop those hips. How many do you have? And time. Good work. But we are not done. This is just 
just the beginning. I'm gonna get heavier weights. Right now, the same motion, the same movement. You ready? Bend over, walk. Now we're gonna do one arm at a time here. So again, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze that back. Breathe out. Straight down, down those towards the ground. How are we doing? Everybody doing good? Are you sweating already? You should be. If you feel that you need to stand up for a second reset, it's fine. Really, your body sends you signals. Come on. We going. And time, bring them down. Of course, your bridge coming up right here. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You guys gonna open some windows? Whew. Let's do this. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, everybody. Straight line. Straight, straight. We're at a table now. That's it. A bench, a table. Go down, come up. And concentrate on these hamstrings, glutes, core, quads. Let's pump it. You're gonna get to a high number, but squeezing at the top. So both together, okay? There's no other way. You can't squeeze your glutes without engaging your curl, especially here. Almost there, almost there. Few more. One more. Oh yeah, that felt awesome. Look how simple, but how effective. Get that jump rope. And I wanted to know what are you guys doing? Are you guys doing the jump? Or are you guys doing the squat thrust? Or what are you guys doing? So after that, post it in the comments. I wanted to know if you had the jump rope, if you're doing squat thrust, if you're doing jumping jacks. Huh. Never too late also to learn how to jump rope, all right? So if you have a space and you're just like, ah, I don't know how to do it, practice, practice. You're gonna jump one at a time and eventually, you're gonna do it. Nice target of your quads, legs, that's it. Just to get that heart rate still up. How are we? Carla, Carla is back. Hello, Carla. Kim, right here. Kim, I know you were calling, girl. Couldn't pick up. I was already here. But I'm glad you find us. All right, sit your pre-workout, sit your whatever that is you have. But as you know, Peak Creek family is drinking pre-workout. Yeah. The kids love everyday fit. We are pumping. Get your ball. All right, listen. Now we're gonna go from the top. So you see, I always have my dumbbells. I get them, well, mine is 65 centimeters. I could get a little bit more air. All right, we're walking. I almost off the screen from Instagram. We are walking. Pay attention, we're gonna hold the dumbbells at the top, above your head, you gotta pay attention. Please not look at the screen, just listen to my cues. Walk, 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 head and shoulders on the ball. Look at the ceiling, look at your dumbbells. Both dumbbells are up, hips are up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings. Perfect position right there. You are strong, powerful, one arm at a time. And push it back up. One arm at a 
left hand, the other one stays up. So when the right goes down, left arm has to wait, must wait for the other one to complete. Got it? Let's do this. Pay attention to your hips. They should not be going down. You have a cup of water on top of it. You're serving water from your belly. You cannot go down. The glass will break. You gotta keep it up. Yes, core, glutes, hamstrings, lower back as well, because you are top, high up there. Breathe. Come on, almost there. Time. That takes longer, right? One arm at a time. Yes. Yes. Dumbbells. Stand up straight for a second. Look. Because now we're going here and you're like, okay, I already feel this. Yes, you are holding it. You are holding it. Push your hips forward a little, a little bit. Loosen up those hip flexors. Go down. Loosen up. Get those dumbbells and let's go. Glutes have to be so tight here to hold that position. Now we're gonna go forward. Both dumbbells will be up. One dumbbell at a time, watch it for a second. When the left one goes down and up, the other one has to wait. All right, squeeze. Pump. Now at 45 degree angle, glutes and abs are tight. Straight down those dumbbells, straight down. You should have a pair that you're gonna be challenged when we're gonna do 20 to 25 reps. You have to have a pair that you're gonna be challenged at 12 to 15, eight to, eight to 12 as well. Invest in the dumbbells, guys. It's always good to have them. Almost there. And time. Oh, arms on fire. Right? Yes. Heart rate should be up. Get your ball. We're gonna walk it. One more time, we're gonna do this. Whee, ready? Go. Now you know it. Don't move the ball. You just go up and down. That's it. That's it. 90 degree angle with your knees. Some of you, I know that you do this. Some of you go down and up and you push the ball. You go down and you push this way. No, this is not the exercise. Don't do that, okay? We're going down and we're coming up. Ball is not moving. Look forward, look up. Awesome body with exercise here or the legs. I rest. And time. Good work. Get your jump rope. Jump rope. Or squat thrust. Or jacks. Three, two, one. Pump it up. Everybody, let's go fast. I'm just doing double hops right now. You can switch it later. Right now, stop. On the boat, we have feet. Push it, push it. 
Alexandra, Alexandra Duenas, welcome. Hello, Kellyanne. Let's see, Pamela. Let me just click on that and see if it's gonna connect us. For the heck of it. Let's do this. See if it's gonna go. That would be fun. Are you there? I see your bag hanging there. Hi, Pam. We have a split screen on Instagram. So cool. All right. Let's do this. We are moving forward. Don't go anywhere. All right. So now, incline. Incline right here. Incline right here. Hello, hello, Pam. Are you there? Just connected to you. All right. I'm gonna press the incline, guys. Now, those of you who did not have the incline, I'm gonna use the bench here. You can also do this on a ball. Like we did that bridge, you can be here and pump those dumbbells, okay? You can be here and pump those dumbbells. Got it? All right. Let's do this. Get those dumbbells going. Get them going. Come on. Get them going in three. Two, one, and now pump our incline right here. Both dumbbells up above your chest. High rep. Press, press, press. Strong. The dumbbells don't need to meet at the top. 90 degree angle right here. Awesome. Work it. It's hard. Breathe. Few more. Control the dumbbells on the way down, on the way up, above your chest. Get your breath. Going on the floor, get your dumbbells. Renegade row. Right now, right here. What's the renegade row? You are staying on the dumbbells in a high plank position. Now, please do not do this. No. High plank on the ball of your feet. You got to be stable. If you're starting these exercises, never done this before, you have a weak core, weak lower back, start with light dumbbells and you're going to build up to, you, to it, okay? Hence, I have them a little bit pointing into like a V-shape right here. Roll it one dumbbell at a time without shifting the weight and moving your hips side to side. Stable. Go. You're staying on the ball of your feet. Feet should be wide because you're lifting an object here. So wide feet give you a good stable position. A lot of people will do together 
here, and then they're gonna go all over the place. You're losing, really, the idea of the exercise. Facing down, core, glutes squeezed. Tight. Row it. One dumbbell at a time. Hands in line with your shoulders. We gotta breathe. Ah, then you're gonna feel it. Your glutes, hamstrings, quads working like crazy here. Almost there. Ah, time. It should be difficult, right? Success, you gotta give out what you want, right? You're gonna give out first the energy to get your beautiful, strong body. Ha! Ah. Next is your stability ball. Hamstring, come on, Orphan Fit. That's her name. The ball has a name. Look, right here. My feet are, I'm looking for spiders here. They always come here. Who has arachnophobia in here? No, I don't. All right. Head strength, curl. We are on the floor, feet are on top of the ball. You're gonna lift your hips, curl it, extend your legs, and bring it down. So lift, curl, extend, bring it down. One, two, three, and four. Lift, bend, extend, go down. Lift, bend, extend, go down. Now again, firmly feet on that ball. Because if you are at the end, you're going to have a difficult time crawling here. So let's do this. Your Calves can be on the ball. Now, for those of you who do not have a ball and you've been doing bridge on the floor, you can go up on the couch, bring your feet up, and you can do this. Going up with your hips here a little higher. Got it? All right. So a few more, my friends. A few more. Dig it in, this is hard on the heavy. Heavy, heavy's gonna work it. Nice hamstrings, right? We gotta get those two heads. Ah. Now do not rest on the floor, you're going down, but you do not rest thing. And time, awesome job. Jump rope. For those of you who do not have a jump rope, you're gonna hit mountain climbers right in here. You're gonna be jumping, jumping. Listen up. One leg forward, one leg back. Jump and switch. You gotta jump. Not this. I've seen this topping all kinds of hundred different mountain climbers. That's not how it's being done. Jump and switch. You go for speed if you advance. You go slower, but you jump it. Got it? You better, you better learn right with me. You gotta know your stuff. Ready? Go! We're gonna do alternating, pumping those legs.
in a first round. Who knows? Who knows? Down dumbbells. One dumbbell at a time. Right? Oh yeah, so loop 90 degrees right here. There is nowhere to rest them. Press it. Press it. Go, go, go. Come on, everybody. Press. Breathe out. So on Instagram, we have an Instagram friend joining us here. And she has a split screen with me. So look, you want to work out with me? Join Instagram too. We can get you going on the Instagram with us. And you can pump it with us. It's fine. We're going to be picking a different person each time. And time. <clears throat> get those dumbbells going for Renegade Row. I want to see you guys working hard. Listen, challenge. We're going to go three on the right, three on the left. Yes? Stable position. Feet are wide. No turning with your hips. High plank position. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Reset. One, two, three. Three, reset slow, abs are tight. One, two, three, back, back is straight. I'm using my legs here. Breathe, slow, take your time. Controlling here, everything. Your quads are working like crazy, your core. Three at a time. Again. One more. Done. Hamstring. Your choice. You're going to be either on the couch or on a ball like I showed you before. Feet on the couch or a hamstring curl right here. Let's do this. We gotta go. We have a lot of to cover. Count on four. One, two, three, and four. Glutes do not rest. Make sure you have a decent amount of your foot on that ball. If you are on the edge, that's super advanced. And your hamstrings have to be very strong. Pump those legs up. Yes, this ball looks so easy. Oh, a ball. And then you're going to start doing these exercises on it. And it's going to kick your ass. Huh. So don't, don't judge by the look ever. Got it? Jump rope, jumping jack, mountain climber. I'm going to do the mountain climbers with you, regular one. In three, everybody in position. Two. Everybody in position. I know you guys are distracted looking around down on the floor. High plank. This hour is yours. We starting in three, two, one, go. Jump and switch. You see how I'm jumping? It's like a high knees. Run. My hips are low. I am not doing this. Please don't do this. Please stop going like this. Incorrect. Hips are straight. Back is straight. You pumping your legs over here. Huh? That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Next round. Go get your dumbbells if you're one, of course. Get your dumbbells. From the top. Top position. Above your chest. Incline. If you are on the ball, you have fun over there, my friend. Arms are up, arms are up, above your head. One dumbbell at a time. Press it. Deep breath in and exhale. We're going. Don't just drop those dumbbells on me. Control it here. Squeeze. Listen, my, my upper body is shaking already. And that's how it should be. 
halfway through, you should feel, you should feel a fact of this workout. If not, you're not pushing hard enough, your dumbbells are not challenging enough, you gotta up your game. Deep breath in and exhale. Press it. Let's go. I need you guys here with me, working hard. Working hard. Almost there, but we're going for a high number. Yes, your heart rate is up. Mine too. the 
close grip, no bench, and we're just gonna get the bridge going. Straight leg. All right, ready? Bicep curl, get your dumbbells. Regular bicep curl right here. Knees are slightly bent, shoulders back, chest is out. Yes, and let's lift those dumbbells towards the shoulder. Now slowly lower them down, right? And again, everybody breathing down, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Go all the way down. Oh, yeah. If some of you have had that one dumbbell, keep on going. Nobody's stopping. I'm just demonstrating. One dumbbell. Look, even with one dumbbell, you will be able to work. Keep on going. We're going. I'm going to go for high rep. Give me 10. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Breathe. 5. Knees bent. 4. Abs tight. Three, shoulders back. Two, stay strong. One, and time, nice. Right here, close the grip. Get your dumbbells on the floor. On the floor. But I'm gonna do the next one also on the ball just so you have an option. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook right here. Let's do this, Facebook and Instagram. Look, close grip, elbows tucked in. I have a 90 degree angle with my arms, 90. I'm gonna press up and slowly go down, but I am not resting on the floor. Press it, press it, deep breath in, exhale. Oh yeah, and again, slowly down, come right back up. Everybody working right now. This is not a break, this is work. So you gotta stay with me, okay? With the tempo and the schedule here. Press it. Ah. Again. So, straight up, parallel grip, dumbbells facing each other. So, it's okay, listen to adjust the dumbbells. I'm gonna drop one and stick with this one, keep on going, because I need high rep. The next round, I'm gonna lower it down and it's fine, because I wanna hit that high rep, okay? Almost there, and time. Dumbbells to the side. We are going to skip the cardio right now because more important right now is lifting. So get your ball and let's do the lower body. So ball, straight leg bridge right now. So leg, legs are straight, legs are straight on top of the ball. And you're gonna go up and down, up and down. That's it. Now. For those of you who do not have an equipment, the same thing can be done with a couch, guys. With a couch, with a stool, something that is stable, as long as it's stable, okay? Bring those feet on top of something and legs straight and just raise them. That's it, raise them up. Now, obviously, stability ball is better because it's unstable, so you gotta really dig those little muscles there and the big ones together. The whole body is working so hard here to do this exercise. So squeeze your glutes here, okay? Take those heels into that ball. Core, glutes, abs, everything tight. Nice work. And time, push that ball away. Get your dumbbells. We are doing 
bicep curl. So get your dumbbells challenging, but something that will give you a high rep. Ready? Three, two, one, shoulders back, knees bent. We are going now full control here, right? We're not just dropping those dumbbells, lifting and just going bam. No, we control it. So anytime I lift them up, elbow stays to the side, but I think about my bicep. I totally think about it. I'm like, it's really tight. It's really getting strong. I see the definition coming. I am just creating this vision of that bicep. That's why we got to go extra mile here, right? To get, accomplish our mission and our vision. Oh yeah. The plan has been put in place. You have it all. You just need to implement it, do it on consistent basis. That's the key. There's not such a thing as on and off. No matter how hectic the schedule is, find the time on your, for your workout. Because most of the time you guys gonna choose something else instead of this. Time. Get your dumbbells on the floor. Close grip press, please. I'm gonna demonstrate this on the ball. So you have two options. Some of you maybe wanna stay here and do this on the ball. That's fine. Ready? You just have to push that ball. So do the close grip on the floor, or you wanna be on the ball, close grip. See the same idea. Close grip. I'm right here with you. So some of you are on the floor. Maybe some of you pumping this already on the ball. This is great. Control it down, press it up. Tricep, bicep. Straight up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Glutes are high, abs are tight. High rep. Almost there. And time. What a good work everybody doing. Awesome job. All right. Couch, ball, your choice. Let's do this. We are at the end. We have one more after that. Okay, one more. And you're gonna be all Set here. Squeeze and lift. Yes, yeah, squeeze and lift. Take those heels. Glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs. Everything is working. And time. One more like this. One more. Get your dumbbells. Where are you gonna be? Heavier, lighter. You know at this point, what's the number, right? Pam is ready, I see her standing. Nice work, let's do this. Get those dumbbells going. Shoulders back, chest is out. Go, 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 guys. Everybody with me. And we're just gonna do a finisher after. Good work. Okay, you gotta stick with me because we have a fun finisher for you. So don't go anywhere. Oh yeah, that bicep is on fire, isn't it? Arms on fire. Ah, that's what we wanted to hear. Ah, scream! Ha <laughs> ha, time! <laughs> Screaming is good, get your dumbbells close grip. Close grip. Final close grip. Your choice, whatever. 
whatever you have there. But stay with me. We'll have lower. And we're going to have our finisher. Okay. Three, two, one. Go in. Hips are up if you are with me on that ball. Knees are bent on the floor. High rep. What is that music? Oh, my, my cell phone. <laughs> it looks like from the aliens. Uh, it, <laughs> it really does get your attention, I tell you. It got mine. I thought a UFO landed. No, I don't mind. Keep that music going. Tell someone to keep on calling. Uh, 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 let them keep on calling, but you don't answer. Huh? Uh, uh, struggle. Everybody's struggling right now. Uh, we're not there yet.
Keep on going. That's it in time.